Going to our mailbag, Bill from Maryland asks, would you rather live in a world with slightly too much friction or a world with slightly too little friction? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. I, it's a weird question, admittedly, but now that you've made me think about it, I feel like, I don't know if you guys walk around very much and get the electrical shocks of walking around on rugs and stuff. I feel like having that as a daily irritant in my life, depending on what percentage you're giving me, there's no circumstance under which I would want to be pinpricked every couple of seconds or minutes as a surprise because I've got too much friction in my life. Dan, the solution to that problem, by the way, is carry around your house keys so that when you press your house keys to another metal surface, the keys will be a conductor to basically dissipate the electricity. Life hack, right? Amazing. Wow. Um, wow. For me, though, I'm going to take this in a different sense because how do I live my life? I try to avoid friction as much as humanly possible. Like more friction sounds terrifying. Yeah. I don't want more interpersonal conflicts. I'm the type of guy who when Liz was literally in labor, I call an Uber SUV and we're in traffic in Midtown Manhattan and she is screaming and I can't yell at the driver. Like I just found myself thinking oh, no. like, if I'm never going to yell at someone, oh, you am I? That? You I, that? I just gently was like asking him like, hey, uh, when is this, when, when do you think we're going to get not, there? Not step on um, it, not, not anything. I didn't, I didn't even tell him my wife is in labor. I just sort of sat there and hoped he would get it via social cues. So thousand percent. No, hundred percent with you. This is why Pablo and I are the same fellow betas. Uh, I hate friction. I once pretended that multiple relatives had passed away so I wouldn't have to break up with someone. Now in the literal sense, as a uh, <laughs> Korean American who obviously does not wear shoes in the house, Less friction would be extremely risky because I would just be, you know, slipping all over the place. Going to regret doing that. Um, yeah. This is cultural? What? You guys are telling me this is cultural, that this is, this is a, a cultural repression that you can't yell. Like, you've got to yell at your driver. My wife is in labor with our baby. Get the hospital. All right. All right. Dan, Dan shut up. Just yeah, shut Dan, up. Hey, hey Dan, go f yourself. <laughs> No, Dan, we're sorry. That was just for, you know, we didn't mean it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was for a bit, right? You guys will include this part. I just want to make it clear. Yeah, that I just want to be very bit. clear. I, I we mean, love Dan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally for just facetious. <laughs> <laughs>